you guys want to go play at the park later today? Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea, Tia. Why is that? Yeah, Tom. Why is that? Last night, I was playing in the park. When I was done playing, I took the shortcut through the graveyard, as we usually do. That's when I saw him! Half man, half bat. Two teeth sharp as needles. A man with only one purpose in his undying life. Wanting to suck your blood. I was lucky to get out of there with my life. Wow, Tom, that must have been really scary. Thank goodness you made it out of there. I guess we'll have to find a new place to hang out. Are you serious? You guys know vampires don't exist, right? Are you saying I made the whole thing up? I know what I saw. Really, Tia? In a world where dragons and fairies exist, vampires are the ones you are ruling out? I'm not saying you made the whole thing up. I'm just saying I know vampires aren't real. And how would you know that? A knight told me. Okay then, Tia. Why don't you go prove that there isn't a vampire at the graveyard? How would I do that? If you're brave enough to get the vampire's name, I'll take that as proof you got to know him well enough to figure out if he's a vampire or not. And then we can go play at the park again? Fine. I'll go ask the normal man what's his name, and then I'll school you guys in kickball at the park the next day. Maybe we should just find a park that isn't by a graveyard. You think? Hello, Tia. To what do I owe the pleasure? Well, here's the thing. I want to go play in the park with my friends, but they're too scared to come with because one of them thinks they saw a vampire by the graveyard. You told them vampires don't exist, right? I did, but they didn't believe me. Something about dragons and growing up in a world of magic. And so now I have to go to the graveyard to meet the vampire to prove he isn't a vampire. That is not a good idea, Tia. Why not? You said vampires aren't real. They are not real, but that doesn't make it a good idea to visit a graveyard at night to meet a man. You seem awfully certain there are no such things as vampires, Braff. Are you sure that's not a personal hope? I am not scared of vampires. I fight much worse as a soldier here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Go find another park to play with your friend. Wait, you won't help me? Nope. Well then, I guess I'll have to go meet the vampire by myself. A helpless little girl. Who knows what could happen with no one there to protect me. How's eight work? <laughs> okay, Tia, slow down. Maybe he isn't here tonight. We could just check tomorrow morning. Don't be ridiculous, Braff. We just started looking. Plus, what if he actually is a vampire? He wouldn't be out here in the morning. Oh, of course. How could I be so stupid? I think that 
must be him. Tia, we shouldn't be doing this. Let me go, Brav. I need to do this. Fine. Then let me go first. This way I can protect you. <clears throat> um, excuse me, sir. I have a little girl who'd like to meet... Vampire! Let me go, you big, bumbling, beefy... Balding Brackish Bozo! How could you do that to me? We had a deal! Deal was to keep you safe. I did. Great! Now I have to walk all the way back. Some night you were out there from a simple man. He was not a man. I saw him with my own eyes. That was a vampire, and I will not let you go back there alone. Oh yeah? And how do you think you'll stop me? You're not that heavy, you know. I could do this for quite some time. Then how am I supposed to get my friends back at the park? Well... I do know someone who might be able to help, but he isn't the most agreeable of a person, to be polite. But he'll help us? I can't imagine he has better things to do. Alright, let's go meet him. Lead the way, Brath. Tomorrow. We can go meet him tomorrow. It's already too late. Your parents will kill me if I don't get you home soon. But Brath, time is of the essence. Nope. Tomorrow. Is this the place where we'll meet him? No, it's the other random barn across town. I just had to stop and milk some cows before we go adventuring. You know, sarcasm isn't the most flattering look on you. Braff, been a long time. Didn't expect to get your message. I wouldn't have messaged you if I didn't have to, believe. Hi, I'm Tia. We desperately need your help. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say desperate. So was running away screaming always part of your plan? Screaming? That isn't important. What is important is that we need help dealing with a vampire. A vampire, you say? Where? Ugh, he isn't a vampire. That's what I need to prove. But Braff here is too scared to take me. And so he wants me to just take you? Braff, I thought you didn't believe in vampires. That might have been a bit of denial rather than a belief. Okay, Tia. I can help take you and the old scaredy cat to the graveyard and help set up that meeting. You will? Under one condition. Braff has to admit witch finders are better than knights. Oh no, I can't lie like that. It's against a knight's honor. Tia, maybe we should find another way of solving- You will? Brav, just say it and let's make way. We're losing precious vampire hunting hours. I fight dragons. The most dangerous thing he has ever fought is a woman brewing an overcooked stew. I'm not saying it. Come on, Brav. You need my help here. Just six words and I'm yours. Six words, Brav. Let's hear them. Okay, okay, okay. Witch finders are better than knights. Happy? Let's go meet ourselves a vampire. She's a bit intense, isn't she? You have no idea. Why did you kick that skeleton? There was a fine spot right here. Yeah, but you were laying there, and you kind of smell. What? I do not. He isn't wrong. I am sorry my sanitation does not meet the standard- Shh! He's coming! Look! He is drinking a glass of blood! Oh my goodness, I think I'm going to be sick! Wait, that can't be right. He isn't a vampire. Well, I think our objective 
just changed. I am no longer introducing you guys to him. Now I am searching for evidence. Wait, that wasn't the deal. Did you try opening it yet? I didn't want to leave my scent on the door. Smart. Vampires are known for their keen sense of smell. How would you know? A day ago, you didn't think they existed. So, Jeremy, what kind of proof are you looking for? Particularly the bottle of blood that the vampire was drinking from. That would be the damning evidence. Got it. I am looking for anything else that would prove it wasn't blood. I'll just look over here, making sure to be thorough. Don't mind me, guys. Whatever, Braff. Whatever helps you cope. I am not coping. I am helping the search, just taking a more defensive position to search. Yep, that is the best way to search, defensively. Look here! More blood. It must be from when the vampire spilled his sanguine drink. Furthermore, we can conclude that the source of the drink must be in this very room. Be on guard for any traps that the Wicked One has set up. It is truly amazing watching you work. Go back to your corner, why don't you? Guys! I think I found it! Wait, this isn't blood. It's just wine. Well, don't sound too disappointed. Really? Let me smell. Yeah, you're right, just a bottle of wine. A cheap one at that, too. Ooh, I want to smell. Pass it over, please. Okay, I guess that probably rules out blood, but we must still be on guard. He could very well be a vampire. Then let's get out of here. I know I wouldn't like it if three strangers broke into my place of work and went through all my stuff. I can't imagine a vampire would take it much better. Hey! I wasn't going to try it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you were just going to spit it out after. Oh no! The vampire's back! We have to hide! Quick! Down here! Look, guys! He has a pet bat! Stay back, Tia. That probably isn't a pet bat, but the vampire's familiar. Familiar? A pet made of magic that the vampire can see through. Nope. I'm out of here. If you need me, I'll be in this room. He has actual skeletons in his closet! Who in the right mind has skeletons in their closet? Okay, that is a bit weird, but I'm sure the man has a reasonable explanation for the skeleton and the bat. Tia, I don't think this is a good idea anymore. We really need to get out of here. Y you're sure that the skeleton really wasn't a person? Brad, I'm scared. It's okay. Jeremy has dealt with these kinds of things before. We will get out of here, okay? Well... Well... I have trained for moments like this, but I haven't actually ever dealt with the real thing. You let us walk into a vampire's den, unsure if you could really deal with this thing? You irresponsible idiot! I take back what I said. Knights are better than witch finders. Oh, you didn't mean that when you said it earlier. Don't start pretending you had a high opinion of me before this. I didn't, and yet you still let me down. Guys, I think the vampire's coming. Raph, I'm sorry I got you into this. It was my pleasure. Um, hello? What are you doing in my chambers? Stay back, vampire. I won't let you hurt these kind people or terrorize this town anymore. 
Just take the moron. Let me and the girl go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this about a vampire? Well, um, you're a vampire, and we came to stop you. Why on this green planet do you think I am a vampire? The bat and the skeleton. What? Oh, the skeleton is a prop left by the old caretaker whom I have replaced. That bat is my pet. His name is Mortimer, and he is actually quite friendly. That explains why the bones were so light. Well, then I am terribly sorry for intruding. We just came to help this little girl. I promise, we meant no trouble. And what can I help you with? Well, you see, my friends and I like to play by the park after school, but the other day one of them passed through here and got scared. I guess he thought you were a vampire, and now none of my friends want to play at the park with me. That is bad news. What can I do about it? They said they would go back if I got your name. I guess that means you're a friendly vampire in the least. The name is Percival, and you kids are welcome to pass through my graveyard anytime. It's nice to meet you, Percival. My name's Tia, and this is Brav and Jeremy. Wait, uh, Tia, does this mean it was you two here the other day when the lightning struck? Yep, that was us. That was very brave of you to carry the screaming girl away so fast. She must have been very frightened. I wasn't screaming. That was Braff. But it was so high pitch. Well, anyway, we got what we came here for. I would hate to overstay our already more than kind welcome. First vampire all year. And it's fake. I'm glad you're not a vampire. Me too. There we were, now in the heart of the vampire's den. We finally had a moment to catch our breath before a skeleton jumped out of the closet. Oh no! I reacted fast, grabbed Jeremy's crossbow, slayed the evil skeleton, and thus freed the vampire from his curse. Now he's back to being a nice man named Percival. <laughs>